Welcome to NTE Tutorials Guide of Word. I am Alexander Peterson and I will be your guide. Right, so let's start with cover pages. By moving to insert and choose cover page, you can then choose from a number of different cover pages. For instance, this one. You can then type your company name up here, which would be NTE Tutorial. You can type the document title, which would be Jingle Bells. You can type the document subtitle, which would be Christmas Songs. I'm the author, I'm Saturnux, and the day today is the 5th of Mars. Right, so let's move over to headlines. By hovering over this path, move back to home, you can then choose from different types of headlines. For instance, this, or this. I'm going to go with this now. Uh, you can then, let's say you want this this part here to be a little bit larger. You can then choose from different sizes up here. For instance, 16. You can then change the font here. For instance, Calibri, Verdana, Times New Roman. I'm going to go with Arial for now. Uh, right. You can then, up here you have three buttons. You have bold, italic and underlined. So let's say you want this text to be bold, you press here. Let's say you want it to be italic, you press there. Let's say you want it underlined, you press there. Let's say you want the text to be bold and underlined, you press like this. Right, you get the point. Um, so, let's say th this text is done and you, you want this part here, you want this text to look like this text. You then hover over this part. You press the Format Painter, you drag over this part, and whoops, you get this text to look like this text. Or the other way around. So, uh, re let's move over to Text Alliance. Let's say we want this part to be in the middle of our document. You hover over it and you press it there. Let's say you want it on the other side, you press there. So like this. There is also something called bullets and the numbering. Let's say you, you're making an envelope and you want different questions for instance. You can then hover over this part and you press bullets. You get like this. You can get different bullets like this by pressing enter. So let's say you want, you want, you want this part but you want it numbered instead. Hover over it and press numbers. You get one, two, three, four. Right. Uh, now uh, I'm going to show you how to change the background color of a text. Let's say you want, we'll take this part, you want this part to be in a red background color. You press there. Let's say you want the text to be red. You press here. So this is background, this is text. Red. Right, now how to insert a picture. You go to insert, you press picture. You then choose your picture, I'm choosing this, it's automatically inserted, and you can then uh, decrease or increase the size by doing like this. You can choose from different frames up here, for instance this, or this frame, this frame, you get the point. You can then uh, press text wrapping and you can choose to square the picture by pressing there. Uh, so let's say you're moving up it up here, get it like this. You can choose to uh, make the picture go behind the text by pressing there. Then the text goes in front of the picture. You can choose the picture to go in front of the text by pressing there. Right. So let's m move over to margins. Let's say we want this part margin. We go to page layout. We press margins and we custom margins. We I'm going to choose 4 centimeters of a margin on the top. Press OK. And you change the margin basically. Right, now about correcting words. R let's take this word, bank. Let's say I would write like this, BLNK. Word would tell me this is wrongly spelled by this r red underlined. I can then hover over it and I can right click. Sorry. R right click and I get different suggestions. For instance, this and bank is the right one. 
there can also be a green underline that uh, normally means it's too many spaces in between grammars uh, right so now how to save your document when you're done with your document you move up here press the button you press save as a word document I'm gonna save this document on my desktop like this so if you have already saved your document once and you're, uh, you want to save it again this time you only need to press save because then it will automatically save the document to where it was last saved and uh, that's about it for me I hope you found this tutorial quite useful thank you for watching